y'all. Holster review time. And there are two very different styles. I've got an outside the waistband holster for my Glock for USPSA shooting. And then I have the inside the waistband holster for my, um, for my PF9. Now this is made by Christian's Customs. Found him uh, on the internet through someone else who had a TLR or a uh, PF9 holster. Really great craftsmanship and really great customer service. This guy, throughout the process, he was sending me update videos of, you know, or not videos, pictures of the actual holster being made. That was really cool. And he even <clears throat> emailed me uh, yesterday uh, just doing a follow up seeing how it was working. So I thought that was a really good good business move. So as you see I've actually got crossbreed hooks here. Um, I believe they're called snap clips. I originally had J hooks made with these but I just couldn't get used to them so um, I said you know what I'm not using my crossbead right now because of you know I'm no longer carrying the Glock over here. So um, you know I put these clips on here and they're you know now I'm back to the same old uh, routine as far as putting my holster in. And um, if you look, there's a little. He puts a little bit of flare. I think that's awesome. Um, pretty good body shield. And um, you know the fit and finish on here is just awesome. He took the time to make sure these sides were flared out, bent in, so um, it'd fit better inside the waistband retention on this thing is um, just about perfect it's really simple you don't even need a belt um, you know me being a college student I usually have you know tighter fin clothing shorts I'm not really dressed up around the gun so that's why I'm running the PF9 and it's really simple I love these clips all I do is put it on the inside, clip over, clip over. Put the pants on, adjust, and boom, I'm done. Alright. And uh yeah, retention is awesome. Comes out of the gun or comes out of the holster really quick. Um it's tough getting used to having a light on here too, because you gotta put everything Right, um, back when I had just the Glock, you know, I could just whoop, not look at it, but now I'm really having to kind of look at where the light's at in the gun, so. Using straight Kydex in here, going from, you know, horse hide or cow hide, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. It's very comfortable. You do not need to spend the extra money and get some sort of you know, animal hide in there. Kydex is fine. Now let's take a look at the holsters from Ludus Magnus. Found him on Facebook, been following him for a while. Um, my old Glock, um, Kydex finally gave out on me as far as the, how the belt loops were. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna spend money and get a legit holster here. Um, <coughs> really great um he worked with me to make sure i got what i needed um i told him i need it for uspsa and he's like yeah make sure you know all the you let me know of all the little rules so i get a, a holster that fits you perfectly um i opted not to get the uh body shield uh it wasn't sitting low enough for me it was too high up on my body to get a good draw for competition so i took these loops usually this is over here i just looped it right over. Um, you know, it's not as rigid as it used to be, but it's fine. That With the belt on there, it's not going anywhere. Um, I actually made it, had him make it for a, a 34, just in case I wanted to upgrade. I'd have that option. Um, yeah, this one comes out of the holster just fine, too. You'll see it's got that nice, positive click. The way he made this, the retention on this mag is perfect. It's not going anywhere, but when I want to draw this magazine out of the holster, it comes right out. Both of these guys are going to treat you right, so just, uh, you know, 
<laughs> pick one or the other. They'll both take care of you.